Hi, today we're going to be talking about the white ash or Fraxinus americanae in the family Oleaceae. The leaves of the white ash are opposite and pinnately compound with seven leaflets. They are serrated or entire and the leaflets themselves are ovate or somewhat lanceolate. The leaves are 8 to 12 inches long and essentially hairless. They are green above and slightly paler below. The flowers of the white ash are dioecious. They are light green to purple and both the male and female flowers lack petals. The female flower occur in loose panicles and the males are in tight clusters and they appear in the season after the leaves unfold. The fruit of a white ash is a one-winged dry flattened samara. It is, has a full and rounded seed cavity and it matures in fall and disperses over the winter. The twigs are stout and gray or olive green in color. They are hairless and the leaf scars have a rounded shape at the bottom and are notched at the top. The lateral buds are found in these notches of the rounded leaf scars. The terminal bud is large, brown, and has leathery scales, and it's flanked by two lateral buds. The bark is gray to brown in color, and it can have interlaced corky ridges forming a diamond pattern. Older trees may be scaly in appearance. The white ash is a large tree and can grow up to 80 feet tall, and it usually has a narrow oblong crown. This particular specimen is a slapling growing on the bank of a channelized tributary in South Carolina. The range of the white ash is fairly widespread across the eastern United States.